Now in this tutorial, we've been asked to expand 2 minus 3x to the power 5 up to the term in x cubed. And I'm going to use the binomial expansion formula that I showed you in my first tutorial. But the point about this particular tutorial is I want to show you how to handle one that has a negative term here. So, starting off then, we've got 2 minus 3x to the power 5. Don't forget to write that it's identical rather than equals, OK? Then, according to the formula, it will be nc0. You can see that n is the 5. And remember, this formula only works if the power is a positive integer, which 5 is. So, our n is the 5. The b is minus 3x, and a is the 2. So, according to the formula here, we're going to have nc0, so it'll be 5c0. OK. Then the a value, which is 2, to the power n, which was 5. And then the b term, minus 3x. Now, that's what you've got to be careful with. Make sure you put this in brackets, OK? The minus 3x. And then that is to the power 0. So that's the first term done. Then moving on to the next term, we would have 5c1. And then 2 to the power 4. We reduce the power. And then we increase the power on the b term. So that becomes minus 3x to the power 1. Next term will be 5c2, then reduce the power on the 2, so that's 2 to the power 3. Increase the power on the other term, minus 3x now goes up to the power 2. Now this is an x squared term, you can see, and we've been asked to go up as far as the x cubed term. So we've got one more term to go, and that would be 5c3, then it would be 2 to the power 2, reduce that power down by 1, and then increase the other power. So that's minus 3x to the power 3. All too often, though, I see people do these kind of questions where you've got to go up to a term. And you must remember that this is not the full expansion. It would go all the way up to 5c5. So in fact, there would be another two terms, technically, in the full expansion. So it's a good idea always to write plus and so on. So that's three dots on the end there. OK? So all we need to do now is just simply work this out. Now, 5c0 is 1, and 2 to the power 5 is 32. And anything here to the power naught is 1, so all we get is 32. Moving on to the x term here, or the second term in, 5c1 is 5, 2 to the 4, that's 16, and minus 3x to the power 1 is just simply minus 3x. So if you multiply all that together, you should find you get minus 240x. OK, now we move on to the x squared term. And be careful here, because remember, you've got minus 3x times another minus 3x. So that's going to be 9x squared. 2 cubed is 8, and 5c2, if you did it on the calculator, is 10. Putting that all together, 10 times 8 times 9 will give you plus 720x squared. So we have 5c3, that's 10. 2 squared is 4, minus 3x all cubed. Be careful here, that's going to be minus 27x cubed. Multiply that all together, and what you have is minus 1080x cubed. And don't forget to put plus and so on, because there's going to be some more terms there. OK, that is the answer, basically. The expansion of 2 minus 3x to the power 5 up to term in x cubed. And it's well worth noting, by the way, in a question like this, notice how the signs oscillate. We have minus, plus, minus, and it would go to plus, and so on. In any expansion that you do, you'll always find 
that you'll either get it going straight the way through with pluses or straight the way through with negatives or it will oscillate in sign. If you find yourself having say a minus here and a minus here and then a plus, suspect that something's wrong. Okay? It's more than likely that you've made a mistake. Anyway, so hopefully uh, that sets you uh, up for expanding negative terms like this up to a particular term.